garden update the lettuce is coming in strong it's definitely getting eaten by like some bugs or the bunnies that come into our backyard but it's looking pretty good so i'm excited to harvest this once it's ready tomato i think this is the tomato at least looks like it's blooming a little bit these are some beans that are actually growing all the way up the What's this thing called? I'll put it somewhere up here. But yeah, they're looking good too. This guy is not looking so hot. I mean, he's looking fine. Pepper is looking actually pretty decent, I wanna say. And I forget, these are the cucumbers. The cucumbers always come in really strong. So I'm not worried about these, even though it's looking like this right now, but the cucumbers always come in looking the best. I'm going to water everything now. I'm just using the longer hose to water this tree because I haven't watered it in a while and it's been really sunny. I know it's gonna rain tonight, but I feel like it just needs, it needs a drink. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Hey. So we've been seeing a lot of wildlife on our walks. In fact, we've seen turtles, we've seen ducks, we've seen groundhogs, we've seen snakes, we've seen it all. On this particular walk, it was really interesting because we happened upon a turtle laying eggs. That's right, it was actually laying eggs and burying them in the sand. It was so cool to see and to watch. We continued our walk and when I came back, we saw the same turtle and probably its mate just chilling at the beach and at the water. It was so sweet. Look at them on the rock. So wholesome. I love that. But yeah, it's been an awesome spring. I'm really exposing myself right now, but this is dog ownership life for everywhere. So I just cleared out the kitchen floor and also that I did mop last week. But this is again, dog ownership life. She walks outside in the mud and tracks it in here or maybe it's us, but either way, I'm gonna vacuum the floor and wash it. exposing myself today but I have to put away so much laundry I just did like a bunch of loads of laundry I'm heading out the house to go and teach in person in the next hour so I'm gonna do the laundry and then I'm gonna make myself a smoothie because I had a really late lunch so I'm not super hungry but I do need something to tie me over before I go and I'm bringing my friend Amber with me we're gonna do our bar fit or I'm gonna teach it and she's gonna do it and she's gonna slay so I'll catch you guys when I go get ready but we need to deal with this mess because truly this is a mess So I took my friend Amber to the bar fit class that I teach and I had a little snack to go. I did have dinner when I got back home, but I totally forgot to record it. And then the next morning, Steve was coming back home. So I made a green smoothie, one for him, one for me. You guys know I've been on a green smoothie kick and this is probably one of the best ones so far. It had bananas, spinach, pineapple, dates, which I forgot to mention later on in the video, coconut water, spinach, a bunch of things, including this dose ginger turmeric juice, which you can get 15% off if you use my code Jasmine McD. I think part of me has been on a green smoothie kick because they're so refreshing when it's warm out and boy has it been warm and muggy out. Don't know what kind of bug this is, but it can't be good because it's eating our plants. Vegetable garden, so I don't know what to do with him. With me, friend, with me. There he is, place him somewhere else. Okay, good morning guys. It is Thursday, June. I don't know the date because I've been pretty well off work for like the entire week, aside from a couple of classes teaching here and there, but nothing regular. Our last day of classes was sometime last week and we had our dance recital. So I've just been doing private lessons and a couple of group classes here and there, but I've had a lot of time off. It's currently 12 o'clock and I've done nothing. Actually, that's a lie. I just threw in two loads of laundry. I folded a couple of things of laundry this morning. I did my nails, I went on live stream, I made breakfast, I made a smoothie. But yeah, I haven't been that productive. It's already 
noon, so I'm gonna go shopping. And you know what, guys? Also, why are there armpits? Why, why, why are there armpits? Why are there holes in my armpits? Anyways, it's been that kind of a morning. But I find whenever I go shopping and I vlog it, I never really get that much or I don't get things that are that good. So I am on a mission today to actually get something. And I think the key is knowing what I'm gonna get because I'm going to the Melanie Martinez concert this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm going Sunday night and it's gonna be awesome. I'm going with my old friend, not actually old. She's like young. She's like actually younger than me. Um, can't relate. But yeah, um, I'm going with her on Sunday and I'm so excited because I love Melanie Martinez. I grew up listening to K-12 and Cry Baby, all of that. And I love Portals. I love it. I know a lot of people didn't like it because they're like, oh, she's weird. But I love it. I love it when artists can be totally different than the mold. They can be totally different than what's popular right now. And I mean, I'm not saying she's not popular. I know she has an incredibly huge fan base. And she's also someone who speaks out a lot online about social issues and has always been that kind of a person. And I love her lots. I love Melanie Martinez. I'm so excited to see her concert. So I do need to get an outfit for that because I do have like a shirt I want to wear and a skirt and I don't want to go hard with the outfit. You know, I don't want to go super intense because I also want to be comfortable in the end of the day because I have to take the train back home the next day because I work the next day. Tell me why I thought the concert was on Saturday. So I genuinely thought, okay, well, I have like a banquet Friday night and then Saturday I go to Toronto and I go to the concert and then Sunday I have the whole day off and I can come home, relax and chill and go back to work on Monday. No, the concert is on Sunday. I'm not complaining. I'm excited. But in my head, I was like, cool, I can book a bunch of work things on Monday. I should have done that because I'll be driving back from Toronto on Monday. And I hope I can make it back for work, but that's another worry for later. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna make it back. Don't worry about it. If you employed me, don't worry about it. I'll make it happen. <laughs> I'm gonna use this Tula Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. It's also my birthday month, so I should go down to Sephora at some point and pick up my birthday present. Yeah, I tried to ahead of time. I was like, is there any chance that I could pick it up in May? Cause like I don't live near Sephora. And they're like, no, you have to do it in your birthday month. So whatever, it's fine. I don't have anything today until four. And I was kind of waiting it out at home as well because it was supposed to be thunderstorming all morning and it has not happened. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go out and go shopping and live my life and see what happens from there. And yeah, I don't wanna like spend too much money cause like I said, I'm not working that much right now. So I don't have money to spend, but I do wanna see if I can find anything that's better than the outfit I have for one of the two events that I have this weekend. This is my favorite thing to do when my nails are long and I just paint them. I just love that sound, but I'm going to apply the Ultra Repair Cream to moisturize. And then I'll probably just do my makeup off camera because I'll probably film TikTok Get Ready With Me because I haven't done one of those in a long time. One of my videos recently went viral and it was of me showing my hyperextension in my knee. <laughs> and the problem with going viral is like you hit not your key demographic. So now I'm not complaining. Again, it's pretty cool when it goes viral, but I don't really know what to post now because a lot of the people that are watching me now are hoping for stuff like that. And it's like, I'm not just gonna be showing my hyperextension every day. Like that's weird, you know? So, and I'm sure the people that followed me also like looked at my page and were like, oh, like I'm actually gonna follow her because of other things. At least I hope that's the case because now I'm like, okay, well I should just go back to my regular posting after that viral moment, which yeah, I'm gonna go back to because in that viral moment, I did not think it was gonna go that viral. I keep using the word viral, but it has like, the last time I checked, it had like 8 million views and that was a couple of days ago. So I don't know what it's at now, but it had a lot of views. And that's the same as like when I did a little filter, I literally just put that red hair filter on myself. And same thing, that one got like 13 million views. And I was like, whoa. Now people are like, when are you dyeing your hair red? And I'm like, ah, never. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money to spend on continuously dyeing my hair red. I was just trying a filter and saying like, oh my gosh, should I do it? Seeing what I look like with cherry red hair. A lot of people, I think the reason it went viral as well, that red hair filtered one, is because people told me I looked horrible. So of course I'm not gonna dye my hair if people think I look bad with it. But yeah, I'm gonna go do my makeup and then get ready with me and catch you guys in a little bit right before I leave. So I've been playing Billie Eilish's Birds of a Feather non-stop. There's something in that song that is just so addicting to listen to, but I'm gonna get changed. I just did my makeup, did a little story time. Gonna get changed and then head out and check out winners. Maybe a couple of other things, I don't know, but yeah. No update here. It's sunny still, so it hasn't started thunderstorming. I should probably leave before it does. So let's go, I guess. I don't know what to wear. I've just been in my pajamas all day. Okay, so I'm just wearing my Halara pink dress because I want to wear something comfy to drive in and to walk around in. And then I'm just going to put like a cardigan on top, light. Just nice and simple. And then my shoes, just my white 
sneakers. I also need to get a new pair of sneakers because mine are just covered in dog doo doo. And like, I don't know what to do because they're white. So why I bought white sneakers living the where, living the way <laughs> and where I live because I always step in dog doo doo or like muck and mud and stuff. And I'm always at the beach. So I just can't do white sneakers because they just get incredibly disgusting and gross. But yeah, this is the outfit of the day. Very interesting, I know. And my room's a hot mess. The rest of the house is clean, but the room is disgusting. So I'm gonna do that later today because I also teach in this room. And it just makes me feel very unmotivated when the room looks like this. But I'm also waiting for the laundry to be done to do this. So yeah, let's go shopping. The cutest thing you've ever seen. You just come in with your friend, this is Coco. So I held off shopping until the end of the week and the main purpose was just to get out of the house but I was very pleasantly Earth surprised really with cute. what Winners had to see? offer. This one's practical because it has a belt with it. So kind of like this one. So I feel like everybody does this, but generally when you pick out clothes, you have an idea of what's gonna look good and what's not, but I had no idea because some of these clothes looked so good on the hanger and I was like, oh, there's no way they're gonna look that good on me. And then opposite also happened, like that green one I thought was going to slay and it did not look that good. I ended up getting the pink dress and the blue dress and the white set, which you guys would have seen if you followed me on TikTok. She's like imprinted in the glass. grass. Okay, so I just got back from A, shopping, B, teaching online, C, going for a walk with Elsa, but I wanted to show you guys what I bought while I was out shopping. I went to Winners and I got this set, first of all, and at first I was like, I don't really need something like this. I can't see myself wearing it, but then when I put it on, I was like, okay, this is gonna be my new summer fit. I just really like the top and it has like these push-up cups on the inside which is really nice and i just like that it's a matching set and it's not see-through for once because i feel like this kind of material and this white tends to be very see-through and i feel like it's also just like a cute beach top and beach skirt that i can wear obviously to the beach and i'm going to the cottage in like a little over a month so i'll be able to wear this and I really like it. And it's just very summery. And again, I just really like that it's like a set. I think it's really cute. I also got this jumpsuit. It's actually a jumpsuit. It looks more like a dress though. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Gosh damn, that's really short. And yes it is, but it has shorts underneath and it has like a tie up bow in the back and it's really cute. I'm gonna try all these on as well and show you guys, um, maybe in better lighting tomorrow cause it's like 7.30 right now. But I really like this dress slash skirt shorts jumper and dress what can we make that into add those all together but i really like this i like the color i like the fit i think it's really flattering last but not least when it comes to clothing i got this dress guys i saw it on the hanger and i was like i don't know why but it looks like something tyla would wear and i'm obsessed with tyla and I've never owned something like this i just think it's so gorgeous it's so flattering i love 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 the bottom pieces it's so fairy core water fairy core i feel like i'm in a barbie movie wearing it so i love this dress i wish i could adjust the straps i cannot but you know what it's totally fine did i even get the right size i'm just realizing that i don't think i did i thought i could adjust the straps but yeah it's extra small it's fine it's good enough um and then to go with the shoes i couldn't help myself i was li literally listening to katy perry on the way there and guys these shoes I mean, these are giving Barbie. Like these literally look like Barbie shoes. I haven't even tried them fully on yet. And I actually got them on sale. Originally they were $80 and then they were 34 or no, $39.99. And then I got them for 35 because one of the little petals is missing. But honestly, I don't think you can notice it. And the guy gave me $5 off of the final price because of it. And I just love how they're like iridescent and they're really pretty and they're like Barbie shoes. So I think I'm gonna wear these to the event on the weekend and tomorrow. And I feel like they go really nicely with this dress. So I'm gonna try these things on maybe tomorrow and show you guys, but I'm gonna go make dinner now. Okay, so today has been 
absolutely crazy because Elsa just ran away and we looked for her for about like an hour and I did curl my hair right before this all happened and then it was completely flat it looked like I had straightened it so I just had to redo it a bit but I am getting ready to go out and I'm going to an awards banquet but I ugh, this this side keeps going really flat on the left side and I don't know why the left side's going flat and the right side's like completely keeping it shaped, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it today and I'm just gonna shave my eyebrows a little bit because they are kind of wacky. So I'm using one of these little shavers to shave down the corners and then I'm gonna do my makeup and the dress I chose to wear tonight is that blue one that I already showed you guys. And yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys as I get ready. So this weekend's a pretty packed weekend as well because not only is this award banquet thing happening tonight, but I also got tickets to see Melanie Martinez, which I'm so excited about. And the concert is Sunday night in my head. It was, I don't know, my, in, in my head, it was Saturday. So I thought I literally had the banquet then the concert the next day. So I'm kind of grateful that I don't because I know I'll be tired after tonight cause it's gonna be a lot of socializing. It's gonna be fun. But but I just need an extra day to like basically do nothing and just to chill. Cause Steve also came back a day early. He wasn't supposed to come back until like next Monday. Which now he's back, so I'm excited. I think I already told you guys he was on his way back and was supposed to be back. So I'm happy he's back, it's nice. He's not coming with me to the event. We didn't buy tickets because he was supposed to be away today. That's okay, it's all good. Glad he was here for when Elsa ran away. Cause that was scary. That was super, super scary. But all is good now. We have our puppy, we have our cat. Both of our pets are inside and fine. And I don't know how she keeps doing this. She did this the other day. I think she like chases things and she's on a leash in the back cause we don't have like a fence that she, like she can jump through our fence, you know what I mean? Um, so we put her on a leash and the leash is like 30 feet long, like it's plenty. It's like, actually I think it's like six, it's really long. Anyway, she can go all the way into the back. It's a really long leash, but somehow she got off of it recently, like today and really recently before today. So that was stressful because I thought, I thought that was it. I thought, I thought she was gonna go missing. I had hope, so I made some Facebook posts and I reached out to people, um, including my neighbors, and it turns out she went back home. She smelled like absolute caca. So we took her for a swim just now because she smelled disgusting. Cause she rolled and stuff, but you know what? Couldn't even be mad at her. I'm just happy she's home and safe and okay and literally lived a thunderstorm, so couldn't have been better timing. Okay, I definitely over did the eyebrows, but I'd rather have them overdone than what they were before. What they were before was scary. So I'm just gonna try to get all those floofs off my face. And I already washed my face. I just brushed my teeth again because I just had the coffee. But my face is pretty moisturized. I don't really want to like over moisturize it. I just want to make sure all those little hairs are gone. So maybe I'll just, I'm just gonna grab this guy and go like this. So I don't have like primer. Kind of wish I did, but I'm gonna start by putting on the glow drops from Typology. They're so iridescent and I'm pretty well out of them. I'm gonna try my best get as much product on my face as possible. There's actually quite a bit of product down here. It's just that I need to like tip this. Oh crap, <laughs> that was so much. That was way too much, but that's okay. I'll just mix some into my hands. Maybe I'll like pull it down onto my neck so my neck's shiny because it does leave like a shine. Sometimes as I use this, I realize like, oh my God, why are my hands so shiny? And it's quite literally because it leaves a shine, which I like, I like about it. But that's like so much shine. Maybe I'll put some on my arms, my hairy arms. I should have done it on my shoulders. That would have been cuter. Okay, got some of the glow drops on. I am going to put some coverage on as well. I'm gonna go for a more full coverage look, but still basically what I do on a daily basis, but just a little bit more product itself. Like normally I wouldn't put this much on. I might do some eyeshadow too, something cute. Oh God, did I use the wrong color? Nope, I used the right one. I just look very pale today for some reason. I thought this was shit too. Why do I look so pale? Are you sure this is shade one? It says type one. It does blend out nicely. Maybe it's because I'm not used to doing my makeup in the bathroom so much as I am used to doing it on the floor in the bedroom. I just like to spread in as much product as possible. I am going to use a bit of the Kosas concealer. I haven't used it. I probably should have tested it the day before just to make sure the makeup like stays nicely. I'm gonna use a bit of concealer on the under eyes, just like the tiniest bit, just cause I did not get that much sleep last night. I was just so excited when Steve told me he's coming home early. And I'm gonna blend that in. I'm also gonna put on lots of blush today cause the dress that I'm wearing today is so spring-like. I'm gonna try to blend these two things in together, the blush and the concealer. I haven't worn concealer in a long time and I feel like every time I put it on, I have to say that because it's true. I have not worn concealer in a very long time. It's been a while, but it does make a bit of a difference, especially if I'm going for more of a full covered look as I am 
tonight. And I love this blush. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Bliss. And I think this is the matte one. I don't think it's the glowy one. I prefer the matte one, to be honest. For a while there, I really liked glowy makeup, but I like it for day to day. But if I'm gonna do like a more coverage glam, I'm gonna go matte. So yeah, I don't like this concealer. It looks something weird on my under eyes. So maybe I'll take it off. I don't know. I think I just have to blend it in with my fingers. Holy. It still looks weird though. I don't know if that's just literally my skin. Like, is that just my skin? Or is that the products I'm combining with it? I think that's just my under eyes. I think that's just my skin. Oh well. Put some more blush on to distract from the fact that my skin looks like that, especially on that spot. Going to apply some contour just for more like bronzing. You know? And I use this stuff a lot, if you can't tell already. I just put a little bit by the bridge of my nose, put a lot right here, and then I also, I'm just gonna kind of add some here to make myself look more chiseled and bronzed. You know what I mean? I blend it in like very messily, make it look more natural. Cause I don't like the look of when it's like a straight line, you know? Especially because it's one thing if you're like taking photos, you're like dancing, cause you usually only see one part of your face or like dancing, like, I don't know, you're only facing the front or certain angles, so it's fine. But in real life, you're, you know, people see from every kind of angles. I just kind of blend it in totally versus like keeping them at one spot. You know, I just try to blend everything in, which I guess is the concept of blending things in. Not that revolutionary. Okay, time to do the eyebrows. I'm going to use some more blush, just kidding, because I feel like it's very liney. Just put some more blush on. Like rather than going darker, I'm just gonna go more pink, you know, to give my face some more color, just to kind of even that part out. That's another reason I like using my fingertips, my hands when I'm doing my makeup, because I feel like I just like blend it better and just like get it everywhere. But yeah, next part, ooh, why am I shaking so much? Next part, we're gonna do the eyebrows. I love thinner eyebrows. I don't care what you tell me. I love thinner, but like thick eyebrows, if that makes sense. Like the actual shape of them, I like when they're thin, but I like when they're thick looking and thin. Do you know what I mean? Skinny, I guess is the right word, but thick, like dark. I like that look because it's very reminiscent of like Nina Dobrev in the beginning of Vampire Diaries or Nina Dobrev. I don't know how to say her last name. In the beginning of Vampire Diaries, you know? I'm not a big fluffy gal fluffy brow girl. I do like it though. It also looks natural, but I don't like how this is looking right now. So I'm going to fix this with, I don't really know. Maybe I'll just pencil it a little bit more, make it look a little bit more natural versus like so precise. That looks better. Pro tip, if it looks too precise and too boxy, just like mess it up a bit with your finger, but not too much. Now my eyebrows look way too skinny because I plucked them too much. It is what it is. Time for the big bush mascara wand. This is my favorite part. So I'm just like making them look fuller. I know they look crazy right now. And now to tame them, I'm gonna use the Slick Day Brow. Oh, I used way too much product in the corner, but it's okay. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely put on too much pencil because now they look kind of weird. I probably should have just not done the pencil because I don't on my day to day. And I'm gonna look weird showing up with like different eyebrows than I usually have, you know what I mean? That's okay. Rather than erase what I've done, I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow. I don't like over laminating them, you know what I mean? I do like when, oh, imagine I went like that. Okay, I definitely did too much on the eyebrows, but I feel like with my hair down, they're not as bad. But here we go with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna curl my lashes a little bit more. I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. I don't really know what kind of eyeshadow to do because I'm wearing that blue, but I don't wanna do like an overkill of blue. So maybe I just do like a bronzy look with like very light eyeshadow. You know what I mean? Or eyeliner or something. I don't really know. I should have just gone casual with this whole thing. I don't even know what time it is. I'm probably running late. But that whole Elsa thing just really threw me off. I was supposed to leave, like, I hoped to leave like an hour ago, but her running away just was not in the cards today. Definitely was not in the cards. I think I'm just gonna keep it very glowy and like light versus dork. So maybe I'll just put this on top. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. I like putting light eyeshadow on. I know I used to do a lot of dark eyeshadow, but I feel like light eyeshadow kind of like widens and opens my eyes. Especially if I put the eyeshadow in that corner, which I used to do in like 2016. But I feel like a lot of 2016 makeup is kind of coming back in some ways. I finished my makeup look and I threw on these earrings. I just think they're really pretty and they kind of go, they are missing a jewel, I just realized. So maybe not these ones, but will people notice? Yeah, I should change them. Also, I went with a pink lip and this dress. I ended up going with this blue dress. I was very stuck between this blue dress and this brown dress that I have, but I just really wanted to wear it because it's brand new. And yeah, that's that. I think this is the final look. I'm gonna go find a bag to pair with it. I'm gonna try not to get my lip gloss in anything, including my hair. And yeah, catch you guys in a little bit. I'm also gonna spritz myself with the new Sol de Janeiro that I just got. Mm -hmm.